All right, so this is the tutorial for how to make a value scale with tempera paint. I've got my uh, flat brush right here, and I've got a palette knife. So I'm gonna start. When you load a brush, you just wanna pull from the side. Okay, I'm gonna start with straight white. And I want this to be nice and even, just the same width as my brush here. Okay, I'm also gonna come up from the bottom like this. So it's nice and solid, okay? I'm gonna go over it two times. This temper paint isn't super thick. Okay. All right, so that's first, okay? Next, I'm gonna take some of this and put it off to the side, okay? Could do it with my brush like that or could use my palette knife to scrape and bring it over, okay? Gonna bring this over to the side because this is gonna be my section to use. If I'm sharing with a partner, they'll bring theirs over here. Like that, okay? And they are gonna mix their color over there, or their value over there. My value is gonna be right here. I'm gonna take just a little bit more of this. You guys can split it 50-50. Uh, I'm gonna leave a little extra white just in case I make a mistake and add too much black too fast, then I've got that white to, to fix it if I need to. All right, this palette knife I'll be using to mix paint. So this is my first um, value here. I'm gonna just touch this in here, barely got anything on it, okay? And now I'm gonna mix this, scrape and smush. And all of that white that I brought over will be thoroughly mixed. Now, right now, can you guys still see some differences in the value? It's kind of hard to tell on the projector, but it's not mixed thoroughly yet. You want to use your palette knife and keep mixing until it doesn't, you can't see any differences in value. So I'm making sure to get all of this stuff from the side over there, okay? Then with my brush, I'm gonna mix this as well because whatever was on my brush needs to be blended in to what's there now too. Otherwise, I'm just gonna paint with the same color I had before. Okay, I'm gonna load that in and now I'm gonna do it right next to it. Again, pick up, that's too much. One drop. Okay, now this has a lot of that old value, so I've gotta make sure to mix that in. I do want you to mix with the palette knife Make sure that you're learning and developing those skills of mixing with the palette knife. So I'm kind of going back and forth so I can make sure that the old stuff from my brush is on here. Now, if you don't want to mix with your brush at all, then you're welcome to have a bowl of water and some paper towels and wash your brush in between, okay? That totally will work just as well, maybe even better than what I'm doing right now. guys can't even see that one, can you? Because it's the same color gray as my paper, but it's there. Got to make sure to use the back side and the front side of the palette knife. I mix pretty quick because I've been doing this a long time. I make it look pretty easy using the palette knife. Notice that my finger goes on the front right there and I'm, I'm using the back side mostly. Maybe it won't. Oh, there we go, it's, now it's not moving. Uh, 
Ah, yes, you can see it got, it got darker, okay? Another drop. Okay. Now, once you get all the way to one side, instead of one drop, you're going to add two. So I'm going to go one, two. So for my second row, it's two drops at a time. For my one that's almost pure black, I'm just gonna use what I have left on my brush, mix it with some black, put that in there, and then at the very end, clean, dry my brush. We're pretending this is a clean, dry, same brush, but really I just grabbed a new one. I'm gonna take some pure black and do pure black just along the bottom here. Pure black, just along the bottom. Like that, okay? Value scale is done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, one along the bottom. So anywhere between 14 and 17 would be fine, depending upon you, how, how close you put them together. I do want you to leave a little bit of the gray paper in between. And some of these are still in the process of drawing. As you look at this one right here, notice the left side is darker than the middle. That's not because I didn't mix it well. I mixed it well. It's because this is thicker and it's taking a little bit longer to dry. So you can see the color change as it's in the process of drying.